where I come from, if women come out, you know, naked and begin to protest over an issue, you who is involved, you need to be very careful. It's just like during the war time when people are fighting, maybe a communal clash or all of those things, they will ask all the women in the society to remove their, to loosen their hair because they feel that their heads being made or tied uh, ties the powers of the warriors of that community. Now, the women in Nasarawa State, Nigeria, decided to go out with their bare breast, naked, like you see here, although it's you, you they had to blow it so that, you know, the YouTube community and the Instagram community don't flag down the post. They went stuck naked, protesting that let their vote count. You see, politicians, you people are taking a lot of people for granted. When women cry out like this, you do not take it for granted. Do not just try to take it for granted because you feel that you are the one who is um, the ogakpatakpata of rigging. Women came out in their numbers to vote the person they felt would do them great, right? But you people decided not to allow them enjoy their victory. If you watched closely, Abia State's election was was a very emotional one. I saw a woman, if you have watched one of my previous videos, the woman knelt down and was praising God and thanking God for breaking the curse of Abia State for over, you know, since 1999 till now. You know how many years that is, right? Abia State suffered that. But as God will have it, this, this is how people God rejoice God when somebody is not the one that you lose. So you saw that Look at some youth in Abia carried the white casket and began to and began to um uh, send PDP packing. They are saying here, let our vote count. Why is it so difficult for Nigerians to, to conduct or INEC to conduct an election that is free and fair? Look at the kind of election. Good luck, Jonathan. Good luck told us that when he leaves government, we will miss him. And it's not yet even up to how uh, up to 12 years. We are already missing him. This is sad. People will come out to vote with the intention that their votes will count. Look at what happened in Lagos. And nothing is being done to Enzo Lumo. Rather, uh, Festus Keamo is coming out to shout they should arrest Pitu. Arrest Pitu will be as what? Who is Festus Keamo to ask for Pitu's arrest? Can he tell us who he is, for Christ's sake, that he will tell us that um, <laughs> it's really sad how people just feel that they can wake up and begin to talk. N.C. Oluma, who was the one that, you know, started this tribal bigotry, bigotry or whatever the name is called, telling people, and then the, the, the special advisor to, the, to Sam Olu, the Lagos State Governor, on new media, having a protest he said this is not our lagos this is not your lagos it is our lagos what is the meaning of all of this it is not your lagos it's our lagos you are here to do business that was talking to the Igbos. have we become so insensitive that we do not look at our own fellow brothers as ours when you travel outside the country they don't call us nigerians they call us africans they call us africa we are africans once we cross the shores of this continent, they call us Africans, but we are here fighting amongst ourselves in our different units, in our different communities. This one will tell you, this one is not from my council ward, so he's not my brother. This one will tell you, this one is not from my, is not from my uh, local government, he's not my brother. This one is not from my state, he's not my brother. Is that what we want to become as a people? Now, Nasrallah State is, is having a very bad... In fact, they're in a very bad mood right now. They are looking for how INEC can just pick up. But the INEC chairman has, has set a very wrong, you know, wrong, how would I put it, impression in the whole world. These are things that, how can you think that money is more important to you than your name? I used to think that integrity was more important. What do we tell our children? This is really sad. Election had come and gone. But the, the hurt, the people that died, the, the election malpractice and all of that will make people, a lot of people have torn their passport.
some have um you know decided not to ever vote again some have destroyed their pvcs and we think this is a joke are we no longer in democracy is democracy not the government of the people by the people and for the people had it has it become just like uh, that is said the the uh, vice president elect our own vice president elect he make mention of this he said let the courts not be for the highest bidder or the richest politician what is all of this we should look into this anytime things like this happen they will say pray for nigeria we are praying for nigeria but can the right things be done can the right things be done in nigeria for once can they be done this is really sad this is sad and we must come to and a point where we tell this our leaders enough is enough should we should i even call them leaders let us tell our rulers enough is enough this is becoming too much people will go out i remember the last election the presidential election my husband had to lodge in a hotel and he still came back midnight of the next day just because he wanted to cast his vote and ensure that his vote count there were other uh, polling units where they didn't allow people to count their votes because they had an ulterior motive. Okay. Let me tell you why I make it very express to you. If you tell people they don't matter, they will tell you they matter. When somebody came out, how you came out and said Tabuga was the hero of the convention, we were, they are now heroes of the losses. When you tell Wike, because on this television, they criticize Wike as if he's the enemy of Arise television. I am a wicked friend, though. I stand by him. All the propaganda does not stand the test of time. If you kick my leg, I tell you don't kick it again. If you kick it again, I will do everything to stop it. So let's leave it okay. like that. Okay, so Mr. Farish, I'm going to give you a quick rebuttal. Number one, I do my job here objectively as I can. If you give and me one, no, you let, give me, me let me one, finish. I you guys watched a video I posted about Ayofai Oshi talking anyhow, how he supported as Sam Wolu, he supported um, Aswaju, all that is because he's not going to join the APC according to what he said. He doesn't care. They asked him, don't you think this thing you are saying is anti-party against the PDP? He said he doesn't care that he would to, what is party. And I find she talks like somebody that drank something. How can you say what is about what is party? Meanwhile, the party was the same party that you 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 that gave you victory, and you are calling it what is party. You now you have become a, a governor already, so you feel that it's you 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 are not. That is how I put it. You are more than the party. Now they have given a suspension, and I will show you his response. I of she said suspend my suspension from P PDP won't stand. You know this man. Eh? You say you the party. You don't care about the party. And you are saying your suspension from PDP won't stand. Are you not speaking from both sides of the mouth? I watched your video on uh, your interview on Arise where you were fighting Rufai. And now you are saying that your suspension won't, won't stand. Okay? You need to find a way and stand because I don't even understand you again. How can you talk about a party that put you in power? Talk to them anyhow. You thought you won on your own account or you are so popular. And you came out boldly to say how you supported the the uh, APC government, how you gave them all the votes. You're, you're just a disgrace and a backstabber because a, a backstabber is somebody who would do something against the people that he that covers them umbrella or the people the house, and then come out to be say it's only children that say things and and debunk it. He's not a child. This man, please stop it. It's not fair. It doesn't look good on you, sir. You are an adult. All this one you are doing so that they can give you an appointment in APC. That's if God is sleeping, right? Because the the, the certificate, Aswaju, you helped him to rig that certificate. And you remember when Rufai asked you about your rigging and the time you were governor, you wanted to come, become personal with him. <clears throat> you are just talking from no, in fact, your talk did not have tail, did not have head. And now they have suspended you. And this is what you are saying my suspension from PDP won't stand. It will stand, and who, who is who are you to say that, sir? <laughs> you, this politician, say eh? so. You supported Aswaju because you think it's it's a tribal thing, right? Those of you pushing the tribal war, I have seen you. Well done, sir. But Nigeria is bigger than you, sir. Hmm? And you see that Upito B will be on that throne. Watch it. This is the funny human being who said 
Kiamo petitions DSS demands Peter Obi's arrest for alleged incitement. Look at this man. First is Kiamo. Will you say that um, MC Oluma was not inciting? What did Peter Obi say? Peter Obi is the aggrieved party. He has every right to talk about his, his, uh, his grievance. I don't know the word to even use. First is Kiamo, you spoke so much. I thought you would resign as minister to become the one of the senior advocates of your president select. It's such a, a pity that all of you want to use P2B to trend on social media. But you know, our job here is to bring the news and let people know what's happening in Nigeria. If not, somebody like you will never appear on my channel. It's, I'm not bragging, but I'm saying what it is. Peter Obi is a smart man. He doesn't call people names, but you have decided to drag him. You have met the wrong generation. As you are like this, you used to sleep well by at night because they gave you appointments. You support injustice. Shame on you, sir. Shame on you.